Today I'm in the Schwitterstraße number 36A. We visit Lizara and uh, we're going to talk to Robin and Roman, two of the three founders. And they're going to tell us a bit about the team, uh, what Lizara is all about and why they're here in Berlin. Let's have a look. It's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Lizara. Yeah. In a nutshell, we're an online retailer for amazing fashion and lifestyle merchandise okay. at really good prices. Very well. And I'm happy to show you a bit of the office together with one of my co-founders. Perfect. So let's start down here. Who's we sitting have, down here? We have our, um, our great HR team here. Uh -huh. Hi girls. Hi. Uh, Hi. about six people. Yeah. Um, where we hire for our Berlin office. So we have two offices, one in Guangzhou, one in Berlin. Okay. And um, hiring quite internationally here as we're in six countries, three languages, two more to come and um, have around about 20 nationalities here in the building. Uh, my, my first company was in the, in the furniture and design business, okay. but um, for some reason I'm, I, I love fashion and I think um, we've seen a great opportunity in, in, um, in the fast fashion retail world yeah. because that's been one of the most successful ones in the past decades with H&M, Sarah starting, mm -hmm. but those concepts are also already a couple of decades old okay. and we really believe that um, we can provide additional value and you know create an online equivalent of, a, of those H&M and Sarah's online yeah. by doing a couple of things similar mm -hmm. but others better and more sophisticated and that's why we chose this industry it's a mass market yeah. really huge Very good. and um, that's why we're excited we launched one and a half years ago mm -hmm. and here we are today good and uh, can I ask you why did you choose Berlin as a City to it's the it's a great mix of of, of of everything. A obviously of convenience because mm -hmm. I was I was already here, but it's really good for getting access to great talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be it in the engineering space, marketing, also in the fashion space. Mm -hmm. Young people really want to live here. Yeah. It's affordable for everyone. Be it someone who just started out as from university. Um, and also for people who have been here for, for a couple of years and ha uh, are with their families. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the kingdom of, of, of the... Uh, yeah, the co-founder. ...of uh, Robin, my yeah. co-founder, um, who uh, runs everything tech uh, with us. Hi, um, Robin. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. I'll see you guys again and Robin will give you two here. Right? Excellent. See you in a bit. Huh? Yeah, IT department is still pretty small, but we're uh -huh. constantly hiring. Um, only this month we had three new uh, people okay. which are not here with us right now but um, you can have a short look uh, into into our department uh -huh. um, how many so people are you now it's, i see uh, six seven seats yeah uh, currently we are eight, eight? Um, okay. we're including working stu working students mm -hmm. and um, yeah, most of our developers. So we uh -huh. do business analytics in-house. Mm -hmm. We do uh, front-end, back-end development, okay. um, and also uh, we are building mobile apps. And okay. currently, our focus is uh, on our logistics and uh, business analytics stuff. Okay. So um, that's where we currently put most of our effort in. We do our customer care in-house. Um, that's our very international customer care team. Uh -huh. So uh, currently we are shipping to six countries, uh -huh. uh, three languages. So um, most of our team here is uh, from the German market, but we also have Italy and uh, Netherlands. Those are the magicians, so to say, the merchandise team um, that selects what's trending. So they get data um, from other platforms, what's selling on other platforms, mm -hmm. but also part of it is always subjective. So what might work with our target group, what's the price points that we need to achieve. Mm -hmm. And once this is done, they sent their requests to our um, office in China, uh -huh. where, um, where we have a lot of sourcing managers now, over 30 people, and those people actually um, make the calls and source the products that we want with the right. factories that we work together with. So cool. we work uh, with a couple of hundred of factories. A couple of hundred? Yeah, and um, it's always difficult to manage them, yeah. but um, they're very entrepreneurial, very driven. It's mm. really fun to make business with those entrepreneurs as well. Yeah. Okay. So on both sides, we were always working with entrepreneurial people. Yeah. How did you build up the network? We just went there, traveled huh? with a dictionary and hired a couple of great Seriously, yeah? Chinese people. Yeah, you always have to do it. You, huh? you have to jump into the plane and, and make things happen. How many are you guys in total at the moment? Um, so we're roughly about 80 now 80, in, okay. in this office mm -hmm. and around about 30 in the China office. Okay. And plan to be around about 150 by end of the year. Sounds good, like cool. it's going well. Give some advice to other founders that might be thinking about founding at the moment. 
at the moment, um, I think it's the best time to found a company right yeah. now. Um, that's what we've seen in the last years. Mm. Berlin is growing like crazy. So mm. yeah, don't be afraid. Just jump into it. If you have a great idea, execute it and um, find a great team Get to do it together with you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cool. I mean, it's the best decision you can, you can make. Good. Well, thanks so much, Robin. Okay, thank you very much. And see you guys.